In a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and blooming meadows, lived a young girl named Elara. She possessed an unusual gift, the ability to vividly remember and manipulate her dreams every night. Her dreams would whisk her away to fantastical realms where she could soar through the skies, converse with mythical creatures, and explore uncharted territories. Alara's village was known for its tradition of hosting an annual dream festival, where villagers would share their most cherished dreams. Alara's unique gift made her a star at the festival. People from far and wide gathered to hear her tales of the wondrous worlds she visited during her slumber. One year, as the dream festival approached, a great shadow cast itself upon the village. An epidemic struck leaving the villagers despondent and the festival's future uncertain. The village healer worked tirelessly to find a cure. But the illness seemed relentless. In this time of despair, Elara decided to use her remarkable gift to make a difference. One fateful night, as Elara drifted into the realm of dreams, she found herself in a mysterious chamber. In the heart of the chamber stood an ancient loom its threads of gold and silver glowing with an otherworldly light. Beside the loom stood a wise and ethereal figure, the weaver of dreams. Elara watched in awe as the weaver deftly wove threads together, creating breathtaking tapestries that told stories of courage, love, and hope. Curious, Elara approached the weaver and asked if she could learn to weave dreams that could heal her. Village. The weaver smiled. Recognizing Alara's pure intentions, she agreed to teach Elara the art of dream weaving. But with a warning, to weave dreams of healing and change, you must first believe in the power of your dreams, the weaver said. In the realm of dreams, impossibility is merely a temporary illusion. Elara dedicated herself to her lessons, spending nights upon nights by the loom, weaving dreams of health happiness, and restoration. As she wove, she visualized the village's recovery and envisioned the sick regaining their strength. Slowly, the atmosphere in the village began to shift. Hope rekindled, and the villagers started to believe in the magic of Alara's dreams. On the night of the dream festival, the village gathered with a newfound sense of unity. Elara stepped onto the stage ready to share her woven dreams as she began recounting her dreams of healing. A warm and gentle breeze swept through the gathering. To everyone's astonishment, the wind carried with it a faint, soothing melody that seemed to caress their hearts. As Elara spoke, the melody grew stronger, weaving itself into her words. The breeze enveloped the villagers, and they closed their eyes allowing the music and Alara's dreams to wash over them. In that moment, they felt a surge of vitality, as if the dreams were breathing life back into their weary bodies. Days turned into weeks, and the village's recovery accelerated beyond anyone's expectations. The once dreaded illness began to retreat, and the villagers' spirits soared. The dream festival had not only lived on but had become a symbol of the village's resilience and unity. The weaver of dreams appeared before Elara once more. A sense of pride and fulfillment in her gaze. You have shown the world the incredible power that lies within the realm of dreams, the weaver said. Remember, impossibility is but a fleeting illusion. Through belief, determination, and the magic within you. You can reshape reality. Alara's village prospered, not just in terms of health but in spirit. The Dream Festival continued to be a yearly celebration of dreams, hope, and the potential for transformation. Alara's story became a legendary tale, passed down through generations, reminding all who heard it that in the realm of dreams, impossibility is merely a temporary illusion. And the power to change the world lies within the belief in the extraordinary.